iMovie is a free editing app that you could get on your iPhone. You could also get it on iPad and Mac computers. And I've been using iMovie for quite a long time. So I wanna show you exactly how to use iMovie right on your iPhone and edit your first video. If you go to the App Store, you could look for iMovie. This is made by Apple. So the same company that makes the iPhone and the iPad. And you could go ahead and download it completely for free. This never has a paid upgrade. Let me go ahead and open it. And most likely you won't have any projects up here, but once you do create a project, you could always press the project icon here to revisit that project. But right now, we wanna to go to start a new project and you'll see three different options. Now, Movie Magic is basically an automated way where iMovie makes a video for you based on the video clips you give it. This one right here, Storyboard, lets you use pre-existing templates to make trailers, for example. Now these two have big limitations, but the movie option is what you want. This is gonna give you full control and I'm gonna use this for the rest of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and press it and you should give it access so you could actually bring in any clips. This could be photos and videos that are on your phone. So I took some videos here on a submarine. So I'm gonna go ahead and import those to tell a story through my editing. So you just select them like this. And as long as they have the check mark, they are going to be imported. So I'm gonna select these six here and then press create a movie on the bottom of the page. Now the iMovie editing interface is pretty simple and it looks very similar on the iPad as well. But up here, you have your preview window. This is gonna be your edited video basically up here that you could preview. And down here is called your timeline. So you could see these are all the different clips I have inside of my timeline. And as you go through it with your finger here, you could see it's changing where this is. This line is called your playhead indicator. Basically, wherever this playhead is, it's gonna show you the preview from that clip. You also have this thing in between clips. That's basically the transition. So you can see it's dissolving from one clip to another. That's what that looks like. I'll show you how to change that in a bit as well. Now, a couple other options before we get started. You have a question mark up here. This is gonna basically give you an overview of where everything is. Again, I'm gonna cover that in this video, so turn that off. You have a settings option over here too. So you turn on these things called themes. I'll show you those in a second. That's this icon. And the rest of it is gonna take place right over here when you select the clip. This is your timeline and your editing. So let's go ahead and edit our project. So the very first thing you typically wanna do is you wanna make sure your clips are in the order that you want, right? Because I just selected and imported them and it created this timeline for me, but maybe I wanna move things around. So to do that, all I have to do is press and hold on a clip like this, and then I could bring it over here and put it between a different set of clips, right? So to move clips, it's really easy. Press and hold, it's gonna let you pick it up and then you could kind of move it and then put it between these two clips. You could change the order of clips. So I'll just show you this first one. I'll click, grab, I'll bring it all the way to the end this time and I'll drop it over here, okay? So that's how you change the order of clips. Probably the number one thing you need to do when you're editing your project. After you do that, you may wanna trim a clip, meaning this clip might be too long. So how do you change the ending of it so it ends a little bit sooner? If you select it, you see that yellow line? If you grab and bring it in right here, it's gonna actually make your clip shorter. So this makes your clip longer. If you keep going, this makes it shorter, okay? In the beginning too, if you select the beginning and bring it in, this is basically cutting out the beginning of that clip. So that's trimming the in and the out of any clip. And sometimes you wanna take out something from the middle. So if you select the clip, there's an option called split. You see this one right here, split. If you click split, it turns this clip into two different clips. So now what I could do is I could split again. So I could go right over here, select this one, split again. So my original clip now is three different clips. So if I select the middle part here, I could go ahead and delete it. So this will delete it. That's how you take out something from the middle. So we looked at beginning, middle, and end. Next, let's look at audio because sometimes some of your clips are gonna come with audio. So right over here, you see that microphone option? You could go ahead and mute that audio if you bring this all the way down to zero. So if this had any sound and you don't want the sound, you could mute it and you could always make it louder too if you go after 100%, this gets all the way to 500%. But that's not gonna sound very good, so probably 106% for this clip 
is going to work well. You could always press play. I have my phone on mute right now and listen to it to make sure it sounds as you like it. And then you also have transitions. So what's happening between one clip and another clip is called a transition. Let me go ahead and press play. This one just has a dissolved transition. So it dissolved slowly from one clip to another. But if you select it, you could actually change it. So you could do slide. So slide looks a little bit different. And you have other options like wipe and fade. There's this one called theme, by the way. So let me show you what that's going to look like. OK, you see that theme one? If you click the settings gear right here, you could change the themes. So right now I have the simple theme, but if I choose the travel theme, which makes sense for this video, I'll choose that press done. Now check this out, I'll press play. There is the transition that came from the themes. So you have lots of themes. You also have filters over here too. So if you choose filters, it's gonna change the look of your video. In this case, I'm gonna leave it on none, but these are some options that are useful under the settings tab. Now with each clip, if I select a clip, you have some other options available to you. For example, filters could be applied to individual clips this way. So if I wanna make this, for example, black and white, I could go ahead and do that using this option over here. But if you wanna add filters to your entire video, you shouldn't do that one clip at a time. What you should do is press settings and apply a filter to the entire project. So if you want your whole project to be black and white, this is where you would do it. If you want individual clips to have a filter, you select them and you choose the filter option from here. Now, a couple more advanced options before we finish up. You could go ahead and add text this way. So this is very straightforward. You just go ahead and select one of these and it's gonna add a text. You could tap on the text over here, edit it and type your own. So this will be your own text, type here. And then when you're happy, just press done. And you could go ahead and move this around and place it anywhere within your video file. So that's the text option. You see it has a bit of animation to it. So that's really useful. And you see put a little T over here saying that this clip has a text assigned to it. You could change the color and the font and all kinds of different things with each text. You also have this option right here for speed changes. So you could actually, if I press OK, you could go ahead and change the speed by making it faster if you go this way or making it slower if you go this way. So this one does come in handy and you could even do freeze frames, which is a little bit more advanced. And before we export this project out of our phone, there is this plus sign right here. This lets you actually bring in background music, for example, with the audio track option. So if I choose this option, I could choose soundtracks. So this could become background music. I'm just gonna select this one here or let's select this one. Go ahead and press the plus sign on it and it's gonna add another track down here. So if I wanted to edit this track, I could select it and I have multiple options here. Okay, so I could go ahead and press play. If it's too loud, I could make this lower to make it more of a background music. Under the plus option, you also have different ways to bring in more clips, photos, and even these backgrounds that come in really handy, especially if you're using text, you could use these as kind of text slates here that will be added as a clip. So if you wanted to add text on top of this, you could easily just go ahead and do that. Just like this, it's gonna add the text on top of this kind of blank slate. Once you're done with your project, go ahead and press done up here. And then it's gonna bring you to this menu. And in this menu, you could always go back and edit your existing video. But in this case, I'm gonna press the upload option here because we're gonna to wanna to save it. So you could go ahead and save the video. It's gonna go ahead and render this out or export it to your phone. So it's gonna show up in the same place all your photos and videos are using the export setting. So if you go to your photos library, that's where you're gonna find that video. And you could always come back to the project tab and all your projects are gonna appear over here. So you could go back to an existing project and editing it this way, or you could start a new project or use one of these movie magic and storyboards that you could explore on your own. These are fully automated. So the movie option is what I recommend if you want more control. I also created this video for iPad and for the Mac, and I do have a full iMovie course as well. So I will link all those below if you wanna learn more about editing on iMovie. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.